Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this tutorial we're going to recreate our walls using a different methodology. We're going to create one single panel and use that panel to copy and paste it around and have the finished look like the uh, poured form concrete uh, building actually is. So when they poured, uh, when they constructed the building, uh, they used these 4 by 12 plywood panels that sit vertically on the uh, as formwork for the walls. So you check out the uh, link on our website for pictures of this, uh, what the detail looks like right now. Uh, we're going to go in and create a panel that's 4 feet by 12 feet tall and then we'll duplicate that for the rest of the, the building. So we'll actually have the correct reveals and chamfers and tie joints that um, are on the building right now. So Tam already went and extruded all these walls. We're just going to create a new, a new layer, and we'll call it panels and uh, set current. And then I'm going to change this to a different color so we can see it. So let's work with uh, one of these exterior walls right here, and we can turn off the the walls that Tam created in in his uh, tutorial. So this is what uh, the column looks like, and one of the normal exterior walls from our CAD drawings. So the walls uh, half a foot or 0.5 feet or 6 inches thick. So I'm going to create a uh, a panel that will be 4 feet wide. So I'll do 4 and that'll give us uh, that dimension. And then width I'll do 0.5 because the units are in feet. And then I'll do 12 feet tall. So that gives us this panel. Uh, I'm going to rotate it into space into place and that's what the the panel uh, is going to look like. So that's 12 feet tall. Our columns are uh, a little bit too tall right now but we'll go back and scale that uh, when the time comes to put the the slabs on top of each other. So this is the the panel that we're going to work with right now and uh, we're going to want one panel that will copy into place with all the other ones. So I'll, I'll copy what we have right here and put that uh, put them next to each other so then we can create these the, the chamfer joint in between and uh, all around and then uh, we'll go from there. So two panels and then we'll do chamfer edge which is kind of like a fillet or fillet edges, but this is a, a, the angle chamfer, so select first curve of chamfer. Oh, this is just, uh, if you do just the chamfer command, that's what that's what pops up. And if you do chamfer edges, chamfer edge, it'll ask for the edges you want to chamfer. The current chamfer distance is going to be 1, that's too big because that'll be one foot. So I'll click on that and we'll type in uh, 1 over 12, which will be one inch. And now it says select edges to chamfer. So I'll just go ahead and chamfer all of these and it'll select um, every edge. And you can see it's 0 0.08, so it tells you uh, how, what the distance is going to be. And it, if you zoom in, it, it even shows you uh, what that angle is going to look like. So that looks good to me right click and it says select chamfer handle to edit so you can edit all of these uh, these kind of angles that come in they, they all look good to me so I'll right click and there we have it uh, both of these panels have been completely chamfered in every on every edge so that's what uh, those basic panels are going to look like there's actual it's not an actually uh, a true angle on the inside like this 45 looks like. So uh, 
there's a, a flush condition where the where that uh, piece of styrofoam or whatever they use stopped. So I'm going to go in to uh, top mode and I'll select them and zoom in just like that. And then I'm going to create a um, another box to fill in this to fill in this gap. So I'm going to start my box at the, the midpoint on one of them and then go out to the midpoint on the other one but halfway uh, to the middle. And then I'll say 12 feet for the height and then I'll copy this. And you could you could do it for just uh, just one uh, box twice as big but we're going to want that seam to be right here so we'll use this to copy when we are are done and using it to copy into place so right now these are uh, stacked on top of each other you can see that uh, in this view so when we go to um, perspective I'll just go and move, select one of these, and then move vertically. And then we'll, I'll just go all the way down to the ground. It's the same with the, this one at the top. time I won't even have to move vertically because I'll just scroll down and find the, the one down there. So that looks right. We can re-zoom in. And there it is. So that will be the, the condition that we have for, for uh, each side. So they'll be flush on that side and then I'll go back in and do them on each side as well as uh, the top so that uh, they can basically be a box with just that that middle part uh, popping out of the the panel here you can see this is a, a little bit too big probably because it it's not all the way down to the ground. So I'll just move and move it down to the ground. And then when I go back up, uh, it'll be aligned up here. So I can copy just one of them. I'll select one and copy to go from uh, one side to the other. So I'll uh, do copy. I'll just move it from this point to the outer section and then I'll do the same thing for this one on the right and then those these will each be joined so this small part the the final panel and uh, the the other small piece will be joined as well as uh, I'm going to go back and put one in on the top and and in on the bottom so now that you know how to do it you can do it on your own time and then then the next tutorial will go in and put the the ties in